Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. So I haven't vlogged in what feels like forever and I'm gonna talk with you guys about that in a little bit. I mean like nothing happened. I just want to like give you guys a life update um, of like what's been going on, like what I've been doing. I feel like since I got back from Hawaii, I've just been really taking some time for myself just to relax and like rejuvenate, kind of like get back my like energy and I have I read this quote on Instagram this morning and I posted it on my story it was something about like along the lines of like taking time for yourself and actually relaxing and like laying in bed and doing nothing or like laying on the couch whatever it may be and just really taking that time to relax because your body needs it isn't being lazy because you're replenishing your energy so that's something that I really love seeing this morning and it made me feel so like inspired and it made me feel really good so I just want to share it with you guys because I truly did take um, a few weeks off since I got back from Hawaii and even in Hawaii I was feeling just really busy and hectic just because obviously there's so much going on I was really jet lagged and yeah so I don't know I just like finally feel good again and ready to vlog and ready to get back at it and I kind of just wanted to say that it, like it's okay to take breaks it's okay to take time for yourself and everybody goes through it I know a lot of people ask me like how I stay so positive all the time how I deal with everything that I do like school YouTube working out friends boyfriend social life, family, whatever. I literally just listed off like every single thing. Um, but truly, I struggle with it too. I'm not perfect when it comes to any of that. I'm still learning, but just really taking things day by day and listening to your body is key. Like if you need time to rest and take time for yourself, take time. If you wanna go for a walk, put headphones in outside and just take an hour, walk away from whatever you're doing and then come back to it. Um, it's gonna be there when you're back, when you get back. So that's something that I've just been trying to remind myself. But anyway, welcome back. Sorry that intro was really long. Um, also, I got a new camera, if you guys could not tell. I still need to go talk to Arlen about it because he's gonna help me like set it up a little bit better. But I don't know, I just like love the quality. It is super light. Um, I got the Sony RX100 Mark 7. This is the box right here. I'll show you guys in case you are wondering. I get so many questions about my camera that I use. Um, and I used to use a Canon G7X Mark II, but this is the new one that I got. And I just really like it. So yeah, hopefully the quality is gonna be better. I just wanted to make like more investments in, since this is my job and like my business, I wanted to get a nicer camera just to up my quality and stuff. And obviously like the settings are a little out of whack right now. So that'll be fixed. I really don't, can't tell like what it looks like because lighting's kind of dark. Um, but I just made some avocado toast. I want to show you these new sweatpants that I just got in the mail. Little update. So I got them just now from Kith and I ordered them in a size small. I got them in a size medium to start and they were like really, really big, but these ones are like perfect. They're still oversized, but not like too baggy. I don't know. I don't like when things are super tight, like skin tight. If I'm wearing sweatpants, I want it to be like loose. I don't want them to be, you know what I mean? So yeah, and then I'm just wearing this shirt that I also got from Kith. I've gotten so many new things recently. And not like so many, I'm really being over dramatic, but just from Kith, clearly. <laughs> I just made some avocado toast. Nothing has changed around here, but I just wanted to share with you guys if you're into spicy things, this sriracha is so good. And I just got it from Whole Foods the other day and it has like really clean ingredients. It doesn't have any added sugar or like any weird things that you can't pronounce so i really like that and i haven't been able to find a sriracha that was like that and this one's amazing so i like to just put it on my toast like that and it has like a really nice squeeze bottle not that you guys probably care but i thought it was really cool so you guys should definitely get it if you're into spicy stuff switching back to the old camera for a little bit just because the lighting on this one is kind of off right now and I don't know how to fix it. There's like a little dial on my camera that I'm on my old camera, the Canon G7X. Um, you can like adjust the lighting and make it like darker, lighter, whatever. So this one is a little bit harder to use. I'm just like not used to it. I'm so used to this camera. So we're gonna just vlog on this for a little bit because I don't know what Arlen is up to and I need to just text him and see if he can come over and we can work on like 
fixing it and getting it all set up and stuff but for now we're just gonna do this because I still want to vlog but I don't want to vlog all of this like footage and then look at it when I go to edit and have like the quality be really weird or like the lighting be weird also I can like barely speak right now because I don't have on any lip balm this has been my obsession for the past like month or a few weeks it's the pharmacy honey butter are you going to class no i'm going to the gym oh okay but i'm really gonna work on cleaning up today oh, and getting organized i have so much stuff everywhere like these are all my those are emma's but these are all my shoes right here and it's just super unnecessary that <laughs> everything is behind the door because i just feel like it adds like a lot of clutter so we're gonna clean up a little I need to really work on cleaning my room today something that I'm gonna be doing to get back into the grind um, <laughs> my room right now is like I mean this is what it looks like some people may not think that this is really that messy but for me I feel like it is just because my stuff is usually like put away like laundry and all of that and all of my drawers like, look at this one all my shirts are so messy and they're never like that i just want to like refold everything and i think i'm gonna try to like clean out my closet do a little fall cleaning clean up this area and i need to figure out what to do with my computer my desktop just because i don't have room in this apartment for my desk and i don't know what to do with it right now so we will see gretchen emma Arlen and I might be getting an office space here in Boston, so I feel like this would be cool to put in the office and be able to edit video so I didn't have to bring my lot laptop every single time I went. We could just have this and anybody could really use it if they needed to, so that would be really cool, but I'm gonna work on cleaning my room. What time is it right now? 11.25, which is perfect. I've already done my workout for the day, and I have... An appointment at 2 15 so it'll give me some time to actually get some work done i have some stuff to do on my computer too i'm at this bar right now at the mandarin hotel in boston and i'm so relaxed i'll tell you guys more about it when i get home hi guys so it is the next day i haven't Vlogged. I didn't vlog last night um, since I got home from the massage. I almost said the sauna. That's what I did this morning. The massage. And it was so, so, so amazing. I felt so relaxed. I actually met up with Gretchen and Emma after. And they were like, whoa, like, why are you so calm right now? And it was literally from that. So I just felt really, really good. And I, my body definitely needed it. And I'm taking a rest day from working out today. I went to the infrared sauna this morning with Emma. We just go to Body Squad. Um, they have two locations in Boston. So we do the infrared sauna for 30 minutes. That's like your normal time. Or you can do it for more. So sometimes we do 45 if we're really feeling like we need it. But we just did a little half hour this morning. Um, got up at 7. Did a kind of had like a relaxing, slow morning. Had breakfast showered got ready my camera's being weird I'm still on the old camera so I'm still on the old camera because I didn't get to see Arlen yesterday hopefully I get to see him today I'll have to text him like when I get home but I'm just getting a little ready right now because I am going car shopping <laughs> and you guys are probably like gonna be confused and so that's why I'm gonna explain it to you so I don't really, I haven't like talked about this. I feel like it's something that I've been really thinking about for a few months now, probably since like June or July, or like July. So I am going car shopping because my car that I have right now, I have a Volkswagen Jetta. It is a lease. So why can't I get this hoop in my ear? It's a lease and it's not my car. So once my lease is up, I have to give it back to obviously like the dealership and i'm buying a new car just because like i want it to be my own and i feel like for me at least i just feel like leases are not the right option for some reason like i already went to a dealership yesterday not yesterday the day before so i went to a dealership I test drove a car, I went to the Land Rover dealership, I drove a Range Rover Sport, and I was like talking with the guy. Ew, this sounds like so extra and stuff, but 
that's just the car that like the first car I thought of looking at um, but anyway besides the fact I was talking to him about like all the different options and he was like oh you could lease a car and if you like lease a car obviously like it's not yours you don't own it so you are just like paying a monthly payment and then obviously what I'm doing right now is leasing and then after my lease is up I just give the car back to Volkswagen and all the money that I spent on it over the past three years that I've had it is just gone like I don't have anything in the end so that's like where I'm looking at it from my point of view and I know that obviously things work out for different people and like do what works best for you in your life but I just feel like for me buying a car is a better option because and then it's like mine to own and I don't know so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna go look at a few oh that outfit's really cute I'm I like it I'm gonna go look at a few different cars today because I didn't have time yesterday and we're just gonna kind of continue the search and we have three dealerships that we're going to and they all are actually right near each other so that is like super helpful and it's not far away it's just right outside the city so we're gonna go ahead and do that and this is what I'm wearing today, just this big oversized sweatshirt, Brady Melville tank. I'm gonna get questions on it. So I just wanted to tell you guys what I'm wearing. And then I have on a pair of Lululemon aligns. I haven't seen this outfit in like a big mirror yet. So I'm looking at it right now. So yeah, big sweatshirt. It's from Yeezy. I got it off of um, the Real Real. And I think it's a size like large or extra large, just super big and oversized. And then I have a Brady tank under and just some aligns, like I said. Or I'm gonna put on a pair of sneakers and call it a day and then head out start looking at cards and I'll update you guys when we're there Do you know what you want? No well, maybe. I don't either no. Hi, um, I just need a minute Thank you Could I get a small iced banana nut black? Yeah, and also I'm gonna get a small iced pumpkin pie, half pumpkin pie, half gingerbread man. I couldn't decide. That was such a hassle. That was so funny though. I used to always get blueberry. Ella and I, every I was time we here. come, yeah, every time Ella and I come, we always get a third flavor, just in case. Just in case? Like, because we Like, you used decide. to get funny bone, I feel like. Well, to like... No, Ella gets funny bone, I yeah. get... Yeah, hi. I get my black Thank coffee, you. and then we get like a peanut butter cookie. S'mores. It feels like the old moments, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The old me. This feels like... This is so sad. I went to... Ella and I went to one of these ones when we went Ooh. to... Uh, this one's really good. Cross game Banana. Oh, it is good today. Yeah, this is a good Because I was thinking it wasn't going to be good today, so I was like, I don't want you it. You know how it's like... Okay. There's two Mary Lou's in Bridgewater where I went to school. If you guys one don't know that, one way, one the other. yes, one of them tastes one way, one of them tastes the other. Like, you cannot get banana at the one, like at a certain one, and then you can't get toasted almond at a certain yeah. one. It's yeah. just so weird. I but oh, a good combo is half banana, half toasted almond. So, if you guys have Mary Lou's next to banana, near that you. is toasted almond and hazelnut, right? No, Ooh. banana nuts, its own thing because it's the banana. How are yours? Witches is good, but... Witches. Sport. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it right here. It's the GLE 43. So it's just like gray. This is what the all black one looks like. That's what I really like, so. So yeah, I guess that this one's the 43 and this is the 63S. I love like the red detailing, the all black. I just thought that this car was cool because it's really sleek and I feel like I haven't seen a lot of people have it. But if I'm being honest, I like, I didn't love it when I was driving. Yeah. Like I didn't love it. And I feel like this is a good thing to do, like to drive different cars to see like what you love because you can look at a picture and be like, oh, I really like that. But it all comes down to like when you're actually in the car, um, which I think is yeah, I like interesting, like you know? Cars. Yeah, it was definitely fast. I just think the inside wasn't as roomy as I yeah. wanted it to be. So we'll see what we, Look at next. In car number two. And nice. It opens up nice. It is windy. I love all of this. How like sleek it looks. Do you feel like you have enough room over there? No. Yeah, I feel like you're further away from me in this car than you were in the Mercedes. I have a Mercedes, I could touch you. Oh, this is cool. And he said that it had the same, like I guess like the, um, what's it called? Speed shows like in your dash. 
on your dashboard? Is that the word? He was talking about right here. Oh. I'm calling all my friends to help me with a decision and none of them are answering. Nobody. <laughs> okay, I think it's a good time to vlog an update. There's a fire alarm going off. Emma and I are at Legacy Place in Dedham and there's a fire alarm going off. I used to come here like every other day when I went to Bridgewater or when I lived in Bridgewater. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little update so and tell you guys about the day. So basically we went to three different dealerships and I looked at four like different types of cars and there was a Range Rover, a Mercedes, I looked at the Porsche Cayenne and then I also looked at an Audi and so you know when you are doing something or trying to figure something out and like in your soul you know what the right feeling is for you you know what I'm saying so basically I knew like a different variety of cars that I liked um, for different reasons and I wanted to look at those ones specifically but like I kind of knew in my head like which ones I liked better than the others and the one that I ch actually chose was the one that I at first was like I don't want that I don't mm -hmm. like that and it's crazy how like that happens like you judge other things and then I don't know I, it just has taught me like to not judge a book by its cover you know what I'm saying so anyway I test drove four different cars and I got the feel of all of them and got to sit in them and all that stuff and I literally am like I don't know why it like makes me so emotional but I like am I don't know it makes me want to like cry but like think about and talk about I almost started because like I bought like my first car like you bought your first car yeah. last year But like I don't know this is like a big deal like I bought my first car and it's just so crazy Um, Because like I was saying before the car I'm in right now like I don't own it It's a lease and like once my lease is over like I'm done with it and um, So all that but yeah, I bought my first car and I will show you guys What one I got I guess I can do like a big reveal or something like in a vlog but I I don't know what to do because my thing is is I don't want to be like I don't know I feel like I'm kind of like weird when it comes to things like that like I don't know if I want to do like a car tour video or like stuff like that I just really would like to know based on what you guys want to see because I don't want to do it and then be it taken the wrong way as like I'm trying to like show off or like be flashy that's like not what I want at all so I can do it if you guys want to see like a tour and like show you guys because I feel like that'd be really cool um, or I can just include it in a vlog be super low-key and chill yeah just let me know what you guys want to see but I'm so excited to get to pick it up tomorrow once everything's all ready it's literally everything I've ever like dreamed of and wanted in a car and it's like I just am so excited and like thankful and grateful that I get to be able to like buy my own car um and I don't know I just like got so sad and the guy that was sitting there that was helping me um the salesman he was like oh like we just checked your credit and everything like you have really great credit and I was like even surprised by that I was like wait really because I have been like learning as I go I've talked about it in different videos but just learning as I go in the past couple of years when I started like making my own money and like being independent and on my own and kind of like not doing anything with my parents um and credit something that is so important that I honestly didn't even know about until like a year and a half ago so I've been like trying really hard to like make sure I have really good credit and having good credit is just something that's so 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 important and just something that you should keep in mind and they like don't teach you that in school I wish that I learned more about stuff like that when I was in school but I didn't obviously I was like surprised to hear that I had like great credit and then the guy was like keep doing what you're doing because like it's working really well and I was like whoa like it just felt good to have somebody who's like higher up telling you that and then also my tax advisor or like my people who I do like my investments and stuff with they also told me they were like whoa like you're very good at like saving your money and I was like whoa really because like for me, I, I don't know, I just am like hard on myself. We all are hard on ourselves. So I probably like will do a video on that, like taxes and not taxes, but finances. I would love to do a video and talk about that and just talk about like real life stuff. If you guys want to see that, um, maybe I could do that just because it's something that I feel like I've had to teach myself over the past like two years and I would love to share with you guys. So when you get older, you're not like super confused and everything like that. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm gonna probably just head out and go home now. We just had a little 
late, 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 late lunch. Now we're gonna head home, but the fire alarm going off behind me is like very annoying. But last vlog in my Jetta. There's literally no space in this car. It's so weird. Like it's just so, so compact and small. Just crazy, like my, my new car is just gonna be have so much more room. Okay, well I just wanted to update you guys. 